Good morning, Facebook world, wellness business owners in our community. Happy Thursday, as usual. I am Shannon with Fit for Profit, and where we help wellness business owners to keep more money so you can focus more of your attention on the heroic work you do with your clients and changing their lives. And um, gosh, you guys, it's the middle of November, a week before Thanksgiving here in the United States. And I can hardly believe it. Um, so as you know, we normally go live on Thursdays. We won't be going live next Thursday. We will be enjoying time with our families. I hope you are as well. Um, so definitely let me know if, if you're here and, um, you know, what Thanksgiving plans you have. Are you traveling? Are you staying home and, and um, laying low with your family? Um, sometimes I enjoy one, both of those. It just kind of depends on the time. And I know we have team members here who are doing each of those. Some of us are traveling and some of us are um, excited to have a quiet day at home by ourselves or with just our immediate family to kind of recoup. So what are you doing? Let us know. It's always fun to know what other people are doing. Um, and that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about today um, is Black Friday sales, right? So those happen the day after Thanksgiving here in the United States. It's a huge retail spending time, but it's also um, a lot of business owners use the opportunity to promote their businesses and to make sales and create revenue in their business. Um, and I've seen it <laughs> kind of already happening. Um, people are doing pre Thanksgiving sales, pre Black Friday sales. Uh, I understand it. Like if you wait till Thanksgiving and other people, other people are doing pre sales, then they might not have money to spend with you if you don't do the pre sales too. Uh, so whatever you're doing, um, I want to help you avoid the trap of paid in full memberships year round because that is what we see happening. I have no problems, nothing against doing a Black Friday sale and getting a lot of revenue, as long as you're handling it correctly um, in, in the cash flow in your business, right? Because that's what we're all about here is managing that cash flow so that it benefits you all year long. So one of the traps we see with that is people don't handle it well. And in three months or six months or even a month, they're doing another paid in full uh, blitz or, you know, sale or promotion so that they can have more revenue come in. And they're just constantly in this trap of doing paid in falls to make the bills get paid, right? To cover the bills. And like I said, I don't have a problem doing it once or twice a year. Even some people will do it, you know, end of summer, back to school, whatever. Here's the catch. You have to plan for that cash, just like you do any other cash and handle it correctly so that you aren't constantly looking for more cash. So how do you do that? Right. That's what I want to share with you today. You use one of the advanced accounts that we talk about sometimes in Profit First. So I don't know if you know about this account yet or not, but that's what I want to share with you today. There's an account called the Drip account. And basically, Anytime somebody gives you a paid in full membership where they're paying for a whole year at a time, especially a whole year, um, if it's just three months, maybe it's not as important, six months probably, um, but we're going to talk about full member year memberships that are paid in full, basically. That's the big one. So they're paying for a full membership at one time, a full year's membership at one time. You want to put all of that in a drip account. And then every month, you're going to take one twelfth of it put it into your income account, and then you do your normal allocations, like whatever those percentages are for profit first, you do them normally. Or more accurately, really what you should do is take 1 24th of that every time you do an allocation and put it into your income account and then allocate. So that spreads it out very evenly throughout the entire year, that income. So the income you get now or on Black Friday, if you only do a Black Friday sale, should be spaced out throughout the entire year because that person just purchased a year long membership from you. They are expecting you and will require you and you need to be able to pay for the costs of giving them that service in month 10, 11 and 12, right? And so if you don't put it in a drip account, the human tendency is to spend all of that money because we have it now. And we're like, oh, look, I've got all this money. Yay, I'm going to go spend it. And then months 
I don't know, like I said, sometimes it happens in month four or five. Sometimes it's 10, 11, 12. You run out of cash and then all of a sudden you still have payroll to make and you still have a rent payment to make and all the utilities, and whatever else that you pay every single month. They're still due in those months 10, 11, and 12. So if you don't handle the cash right now, when you get it, if you don't handle the cash correctly now, when you get it, you will be out of money. And then you'll fall into that trap of doing another paid in full sale so that you can make your bills, cover your payments in months 10. And then you see what happens, what we see happen is you tend to run out even faster. <laughs> um, and then you're stuck in this cycle of constantly doing it. So we want to use what we call a drip account. Put all the revenue that you get in there right now. And then every time you do an allocation, because you do allocations 24 times a year, twice a month, you're going to take 1 24th of it and put it in your income account and then just use your normal allocation percentages. This will even out the flow of cash into all of your accounts. It evens out the flow into your operating expense account, your labor team account, your tax account, your profit account, and your owner's pay account. So there's no temptation anywhere to increase your owner's pay right now because you have a lot of money in there. And then again, maybe not have the, all the money you need to pay your salary later on in the year. So as you're thinking and planning for these Black Friday sales, as you're in the process of having people buy them, remember not to count on all that money right now unless you have a very specific plan um, and, and use that money, do with it what it should be done with it so that you have it long term to take care of all the bills that it will take to service this client. So just something to think about and be aware of. Um, you don't actually have to have that account set up right now if you're in the midst of all of these things. Don't spend all of these things until you get all of that money, until you get this account set up. You can do it the first week of December and then move all of that revenue into that account and start dripping it, um, the, the first allocation in December. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, definitely let me know if this would be helpful to somebody else. If you know somebody who's running a Black Friday sale and you've seen them in the trap of constantly running Black Friday sales, um, definitely share this video with them. If you're in that trap already, it can take some time to get out of it. So I'm going to drop a link to book a call with one of our coaches. They can absolutely help you figure out how to get out of that trap so that you're not constantly stressed for more money, more money. When am I going to do the next paid in full promotion? And you can start to figure out how to manage your cash just off monthly memberships because that's really the goal. Um, and these big promotion times should really be to benefit your members and get a little injection of cash flow once in a while. So with that being said, have a happy Thanksgiving and we will be back here in two weeks.